Wow, look at that. y'all and welcome back to another one today i'm excited because uh, this has been a suggested video for quite some time and uh we're gonna do it we're gonna try it today we're gonna take old clark old clark griswold himself where's he at there he is there he is there he is right there just chilling old clark himself not carl yeah <laughs> but we're gonna take him on top of the roof and we are gonna put him in the trap as a bait bird. We're sacrificing old Clark as a bait bird. We're not sacrificing like we're gonna lose him, but we're sacrificing him to be used as a bait bird. What a bait bird is, is we put him in the cage. Yeah, Bubba, hold on. Put Clark in the trap as a bait bird and he should attract more birds. Now I am gonna take water. There's food already in the trap. I'm gonna have a bowl of water in the trap. Um, and we're only going to actually have Clark in the trap for a half a day at most because it's hot. So, we're going to run him in the uh, afternoon here. It's right at about, I don't know, 11, 10.30 in the morning. So, in the next hour, we're going to get Clark in the trap, get him situated. Um, I think I'm going to use this right here. Use this bowl right here, actually. That'll work perfect. Oh, and real quick, check it out. Old Mama. She's been taking darn good care of her eggs here. While we're here, I might as well show you the chicks. I gotta feed the birds before we leave, so we might as well take a good little gander at the chicks here. Check them out. Just doing baby pigeon things, you know, not much at all. Basically just learning how to use their necks and hold their head up. Their heads are like, Ugh. haven't even opened their eyes yet actually. Pretty wild having baby I chicks like that. A baby like a baby. Oh, really, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, them your pigeons? I see a baby frog in there. Is there a baby frog in there, too? <laughs> Diaper and all. Bodie's out here. He says, Dad, I'm out here. We need to feed and water our birds. The pigeons are definitely Bodie's. They're, they're Bodie's pigeons. They're not mine. Believe you me. But real quick, check out that new duck's hat. How sweet is it? This hat and a bunch of others, all the ones that I've been showing you guys for the last couple weeks, they're all gonna be dropping August 24th. We have a ton of new merch, a ton of new products that you guys should be really excited about seeing. Uh, we will need to put new water in it, don't we, buddy? Ton of new products dropping August 24th. I will let you guys know for sure, but be expecting the entire duck site to be revamped. All new products, August 24th. Well, I got a change of plans here. Um, it's going to be tomorrow morning before we can get old Clark up on the pigeon roof, that is. The reason why is I told you guys last week, your boy is headed to North Dakota. North Dakota next week for early honkers with Dirty Bird Outfitters and Dive Bomb Decoys. It's going to be amazing. So today is Tuesday and I'm leaving this coming weekend and the wifey was like, hey babe, why don't we take uh, why don't we take the kids to the water park all day? And I'm like, that's fine. So what we need to do is we gotta go check the trap now, uh, see if we have any live birds in it, take them out because it's gonna be my only time to check it. It's just right now. And then, which is only gonna be like a couple minutes for you guys, but a whole day for me in the morning, we're gonna get Clark in the old pigeon trap. Oh yeah. Y'all have been suggesting that I use peanuts for bait. And uh, I never knew pigeons liked peanuts and I'm trying to figure out where to buy peanuts in bulk. If you guys have any ideas where I can get a bunch of peanuts, uh, preferably the already cracked ones so I don't have to sit there and crack them all, uh, drop a comment down below. Let your boy know where can I get a bunch of peanuts. Preferably unsalted. Well, we're here. It's one of my favorite parts of the day is opening this door. Y'all know what's behind this door. <sighs> but I have a lot of great ideas for upcoming videos once I get back from North Dakota because uh, North Dakota is going to take up a lot of time. So when we get back, we're going to be sitting out here trying to net some pigeon <laughs> baiting, you know, peanuts. I need y'all's help. But here we go. God, I try to be quiet, but usually doesn't work very well. 
I baited it real heavy yesterday. You can tell they've been here. No, nope, we got nothing. We got a big nothing. That's all right. That's all right. I need to come check it because uh, this is going to be my only chance today to check it. So I'm glad there wasn't any birds out here that I scared off or anything like that. So looking good though. I can tell they've been here for sure. I can also tell, check this out. Look at this. It's going all this way. Here, 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 here. We had some wind yesterday. It blew it. Blew it pretty good. You guys actually suggest that uh, I make a little, uh, kind of a net little tray in there. I think next time I come up, I'm going to bring Clark. I'm going to bring a water bowl for Clark with water in it. And yeah, that'll probably be the next scene to this video. Well, it is the next day. And I figured we'd put some holes in the bucket. Let her breathe, boys. Let her breathe. Alright, that should do it. We just put about a thousand holes in that bad boy. I wanted to make sure there was enough air movement in there because we got to put Clark in there. It is time to take old Clark Griswold up to the top of the roof and see if he can do us some magic. You know what I'm saying? Clark, you ready to get to work, buddy? See, I if Clark was actually the dad of the babies that just hatched, I wouldn't be taking it. But I don't think he's the dad at all. That uh, the red guy has been uh, playing daddy. Oh, where's he at? He's over here in the corner being weird, but let's catch old Clark here. Oh, old Clark. It's time to go to work. Old Clark. Hopefully this, hopefully this won't be too hard, old Clark. Hopefully we don't lose any pigeons out the door, old Clark. Don't go crazy, boy. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just go ahead and close that. Look, Mama's going, dude, what are you doing in here? I got babies in here. Get out of here. <laughs> and there's Dad. He's like, what's he doing in there? <laughs> A lot of territorial activity with the babies on the ground now. I mean, <laughs> old Mama and old Daddy, they are protective. Now, we can just open this side door and get him that way. Hopefully. Easy old Clark Griswold. Easy. God, man. That's why I like old Clark right there. He's an old bird. Really old bird. And he's strong. It's alright, buddy. We gotta get old Clark trained, you know what I mean? When it's time to go do work, he needs to go do work, you know what I mean? I think Clark uh, would be great. He is strong. Dude, you have got strong, buddy. Get in there. He's not happy. Like I said, though, if he was for sure the dad, I wouldn't do this to him, but I don't think it's bad for him. He isn't going to be harmed. He's going to have water. We're actually going to take this right here. Yeah, this one should hold water just right. So, he'll have food. He'll have water. Heck, he'll have a buffet. He'll have wheat, corn, and H2O. Well, pulling out of the house, an old Clark. If I move the bucket a little bit, he goes, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> But a uh, lovely day to be doing this. Right now, it is 68 degrees. We had a lot of rain. A big old thunderstorm rolled through last night. Uh, I woke up, and I seen the temperature, and I felt it. And I'm like, oh boy. Perfect day, because... The cooler it can be, the better, uh, because I don't want to harm old Fred. Fred. Because I don't want to harm old Clark. If you guys are new to the channel at all and you don't know why Clark is named Clark and, and the importance of Clark, hold on, washboard roads. I swear, my life consists of washboard roads. <laughs> so Clark was the first feral pigeon that I caught in a trap at the truck stop. Now, we haven't been to the truck stop in a long time. There might be some of you that haven't even seen the truck stop. Uh, we're gonna go by there and check it out. It's uh, still before eight o'clock, it's 7.45 actually. So there's a good chance there might be some early AM birds at the truck stop. 
Well, that makes me happy. Um, we're here at the truck stop, as you can tell, and uh, I haven't seen pigeons here forever because that hasn't been here until today. Like I told you, it rained. Look, here's a group right here. Good number of birds. Big group over there yet. That's the big number of birds that we're used to. It's all about uh, water being in this parking lot. There's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of food here, but um, they will uh, when it's scorching hot, 100 degrees. What I found because I watch them every single day. But you believe believe. <laughs> Believe you me, um, when it's 100 degrees out and there isn't water in this parking lot, they will uh, eventually stop coming here until it rains again. They're back. If we could keep water here, uh, it'd be money all the time. But, uh, man, that looks good. Look at that. See, this is where we trapped old Clark over yonder, right past that green little bush. See all the water puddles over there? That's where all that food is, all the grain that the trucks dump. It's gonna be about time we set another trap out here, boys. <laughs> Ooh, well, we're up here. We got old Clark in the bucket. He's not liking it. He's not making any noise now. He's probably wondering what's going on. He has been going rawr, rawr, every time you move the bucket. Let's go see if we got something in the trap real quick though. It's only been about, I don't know, 12 hours since we checked it last. I wouldn't think we'd have anything. No, we don't. But check it out. Got some water up here. Got a little bit of soggy grain going on in there. That's not good. Good thing I brought new grain. I brought some weed up. The corn helps the birds see the grain, but the birds love the wheat. I can tell you what, they will get addicted to the wheat. Uh, there's a lot of corn left each time I come back, but all of the wheat is gone every single time. So, not only did I bring Clark, but I also brought some water and a water dish for him. Alrighty, old Clark. <laughs> uh, he has been not happy, put it that way. Now, Clark is banded, so, God, he is... Look how big he is. Check this out, guys. Just a big dude. He is, uh, he's mad at me right now, but we have an orange leg band on old Clark, so if he ever gets out, we know we got a bounty on him. He's gonna freak out a little bit at the beginning, but he'll get used to it here, y'all, I promise. Oh, Clark, calm down. It's not your first rodeo. It's okay. Nothing bad's happening to you. We're going to put some weed around here, though. Going to throw some weed out here. Going to throw some weed around the door. And then... We're gonna give Clark some water. I'm gonna fill up this water bowl here for him. He'll calm down here in just a little bit. It was the same thing when I first trapped Clark. He was the first one we trapped, like I said. I put it right in the middle, just like that. He's good to go. When I first trapped Clark and we took him home and we put him in the, uh, the first little makeshift <laughs> cage loft, per se, uh, when we put him in there, he was freaking out. And he was the first pigeon that I trapped. And I was like, man, he really don't like it. Is he going to be okay? And y'all and y'all were like, Bobby, yo, calm down. Just give him a day and he'll get used to that cage. Same thing with this. He's a loft bird. He should be used to it, you know. He'll calm down real quick. I can tell. Check him out, though. He's already calmed down a lot. He'll start eating. He'll find his water. And it's all right, dude. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Kind of feel bad, you know what I mean? I, I, I kind of feel bad for old Clark. You don't know what's going on, but he's a pigeon, okay? So the deal is, is it's early morning. Like I said, it's right out about 8, 8.30 a.m. in the morning, and uh, we're gonna run this trap today. We're gonna run it hard. I might come back and check it maybe twice. I don't wanna come too often. 
and and distract the birds you know scare them off the roof I don't even want to be up here walking around like I am probably not a good idea but if you guys are liking this video so far you got to hit that thumbs up button for your boy this has been one of the most requested videos from y'all y'all are like dude you got to take Clark up on top of the roof you gotta you gotta try him out as a bait bird see how he does because he's a normal feral blue check blends right in except for the bright orange thing on his leg <laughs> well we are on the way here um got to do two things got to go pick up clark off the rooftop and got to go pick up sophie from the dog groomer you know normal things right um i gotta thank y'all a big thank you coming from bob to y'all sorry if the camera is jiggling around a little bit but i need to tell you guys thank you um today i've been cranking out on vids i'm going to north dakota soon so all these videos that you guys are watching i'm actually filming before i go because i'm unable to edit and upload while i'm up there whacking honkers you know and i just got done filming uh, the demonetization update for y'all. Y'all have been wanting a demonetization video, uh, just an update describing uh, why why the channel gets hit with demonetization all the time and why I'm always complaining about it. You know what I mean? And uh, just got done doing that video, and I have to say, if it wasn't for y'all, uh, I would not exist. And I just want you guys to know that. I want you guys to know that it's that it is uh, very near and dear to my heart, uh, you guys. Because if it wasn't for you guys, again, I would not exist. So thank you guys so much. And thank you guys for being so supportive with the trapping videos, these pigeon trapping videos, the pigeon loft videos, the breeding of the pigeons, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for being supportive for me because all these pigeon videos and the trapping, I never have to worry about them being demonetized because they don't have a G-U-N in the, in, in the entire video. There's none of those things, so it sucks. It really does. Well, how many do you guys think we got? Drop a comment down below. I'm starting to get pretty sneaky getting out here. What do you think we got? Think we got any? Oh, no way. Darn. Just stole Clark in there still. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Well, we tried. It was the first day to really try it. Uh, with all you guys in the comments, you guys have been like, yo, if you put a bait bird in there, like, it's like game over type of situation. And I figured it would be. Man, they really did. They were here. Clark might be so smart that he's telling them, hey man, don't come in here. That might be the case. I can tell they're here because I threw out bait. And there was bait here this morning. And it's not that windy. I don't see it anywhere else. So They were definitely all here at one time, but uh, they were not intrigued. Old Clark did not intrigue them. What's wrong, bud? What's wrong, bud? Come on, bud. We can do better than that. I really thought we'd have one or two at least. Got the old bucket. Let's uh, let's load old Clark up, take him home. I am, uh, that might be it. Look at that, I didn't think about that. Check that out. Got that water bowl in there. That's the only difference today. And I can tell that they were here. Like I said, there's a lot of, lot of food gone out here. Might be the water bowl. Cause that's a structure that's what i was uh, afraid of that's why i don't want to put anything like that in here but i wanted to have it in here for clark so maybe them just seeing clark in here and then i take everything out maybe when i leave they'll come over and they'll be interested i don't know drop a comment down below let me know do you think that's the case it was a food bowl because we were just catching them before we even have a had a bait bird but now with a bait bird and we knew that they were here hardcore has to be the food bowl it's honestly my only guess is that it would be the food bowl, food bowl. Unless, like I said, Clark's just too smart and he's like, hey, don't come in here. Giving him a distress call or something. But old Clark, he isn't stupid, that's for sure. Look at him, he's fast. Come on, buddy. That's enough of that, that's enough. Oh, boy. 
He has gained so much strength being in that loft. I'm telling you, he's fully fed up. Look how big he is. Look at him. He is not happy with me. Dude, you gotta calm down, man. Look, easy, man. I'm telling you, he's feisty. Look at them eyes. He's an old bird. Good looking old Clark. That's him. He's a crazy dude, man. Go on, bud. I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you guys are enjoying the rooftop trapping, you got to smash the thumbs up button. It only takes 0.2 seconds, like I always say, and it helps a ton. It lets me know that that's what you guys like. Drop a comment down below if you have any tips that we need to do up here. Um, we have a couple more roofs that we've been on, but uh, kind of had some trouble getting on and off of them. So we took the traps down for a minute, but this one here is a producer. We just got to get it going again. It seems like it hits, then it kind of falls off. You know what I mean? So if you guys have any tips, any advice, anything that I'm not doing right or that I need to do different, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm not offended. I enjoy all the comments. I enjoy all the help, believe you me. But if you haven't subscribed because we're coming to you with a ton of pigeon videos throughout the winter, we're gonna be trapping pigeon in the winter. Look at them. When the cold hits, they're gonna be hungry and they're gonna have to feed. We're gonna trap a lot more during the winter. But until next time, we will see you all on the next one. Peace. Wow, look at that. Pessimism I've been keeping it